Welcome boys and girls to Fetch the Goodness. We are overjoyed that you could join us today. We've teamed up with God to bring you an inspiring show about the importance of cleaning our bedrooms. I know it doesn't sound like fun, but it actually can be. Most importantly, keeping your room clean actually helps you succeed in life. It's true, and it isn't just for kids. This is just as important for adults too. Learning to clean our bedrooms helps us take responsibility for our belongings. It teaches us valuable organization skills, it helps us do more things by ourselves, and it makes us feel good about our accomplishments and our bedrooms become a healthier, safer place to be. Today's very important word is order. Do you know what order means? Order means setting up or arranging things into proper places. Think of order like a puzzle. Your room is like a puzzle. The toys are like the pieces. Putting the toys in the right spot is like putting the puzzle together. When you finish, you can find what you need more easily. Well, we're officially on a mission. Let's keep our ears open and listen for that very important word throughout the show. Do you think you can do that? Jacob is playing in his room, which looks like an explosion happened in it. Sarah came by to say hello. Wow, Jacob, what happened in here? I saw you put up that sign that says enter at your own risk. Now I understand why. Huh, yeah, it's kind of a wreck, but at least I know where everything is, so it's not that bad. I saw your mom. She said you were supposed to clean it up yesterday. I did. You did? Your mom said that your friend Lila was coming over and that she wanted your room to be clean before she gets here. Yep, I did. I put my socks away yesterday. And then, well, I must have forgotten, got distracted, and, well, I forgot to finish the rest. Oh, I get it. That happens to me, too. Yeah, well, Lila wants to play with my remote control truck, but I couldn't find the remote to it. Hmm, well, maybe if we cleaned your room together, then we'd find it. Uh, you'd help me clean my room? Yes, that's what friends are for. Hmm, okay, so where do we start? Well, let's start with the bed. If your bed is made, it makes the whole room look cleaner, even if the rest of the room is messy. Hmm, I've never been good at making my bed. My dad is, though. He's in the military, and they make their beds tight. Well, let's do it together. We can make it fun. Okay. All right, now that the bed is made, what do we do next? I always make a game of cleaning my room. Let's turn on some music, and we'll start by picking up the clothes and putting them in the hamper. Wow, this looks great. Hey, look, I just found the pizza I saved last week. Ew, that's gross, Jacob. You're not going to eat that, are you? Sure am. No, I'm kidding. Ew, boys. Keeping food in your bedroom isn't safe. It attracts bugs and can even make you sick. Oh, uh, you sound like my mom. She said that same thing. Okay, well, now let's get to work on the toy box next. Jacob poked his head out from inside the toy box. Hey, look, I just found the remote. That's great. Now, if you keep the remote next to the truck each time you're done using it, you'll know exactly where it is the next time you want to use it. Wow, this has been fun, Sarah. A great learning lesson, too. My mom says that cleaning your room doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. God's Word says that all things should be done decently and in order. Now look at your room. It's all in order again. And it only took a few minutes. Good organization really only takes a few minutes. Sarah, you're such a great friend. I'm so glad you got here before Lila did. Me too. Hi, I'm Zion, and I'm going to show you how I change my sheets. First, I throw off the stuffed animals and blankets off my bed. Then I remove my sheet. Take it all to the washing machine. I add a small amount of soap. 
place the sheets in and press start. After that, I grab a set of clean sheets from the closet. I put the fitted sheet on first. The fitted sheet is the one with the elastic on the corners. Then, I put on the flat sheet. To know what side of the sheet goes near your head, look for the wide hem. From there, I tuck my sheet under the mattress. At this time, I put the sheets from the washing machine into the dryer, being sure to shake them out first so they dry faster. Heading back to my room, I toss the comforter onto my bed, spread it out evenly. It doesn't have to be perfect, just stand neatly and not sloppy. A clean pillowcase goes onto my pillow and placed on my bed. Finally, my favorite part, I reach my stuffed animals. When the dryer is finished, I fold the sheets, often with help, and place them in the closet, ready to be used next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye! Thank you, Zion and Karis, for showing us how you clean your room. You made it look like so much fun. Now there's so much more room for dancing, playing dolls, or dress up. And did you notice that Zion and Karis had a place for everything? By putting your room in order, it's like the puzzle having every piece in its place. When we put everything in the same spot each time, then we know right where it is the next time we want it. Let's see how Lila reacts to Jacob's clean room. Come in. Hey, Jacob. Your mom let me in and... Wow, Jacob, is this really a room? It's so clean. Thanks. Yep, it's my room, all right. Sarah helped me clean it up. I'm so impressed. I'm even feeling inspired to go home and clean my own messy room. Well, maybe I can help you the way Sarah helped me. You would do that for me? Of course. Friends help one another. And Sarah showed me that cleaning a bedroom doesn't have to be hard. It just has to get done. Really? But what if you don't like cleaning your room? What if it gets so messy that it feels hard? Well, that's how I felt. I let my room get so bad that I thought it was too hard. Then we sang a song, had a picking up race, played some music while we danced, and before I knew it, everything was back in its place. But how does everything have a place? There's so much stuff in my room that feels messy all the time. I guess it's like a puzzle. There's a certain order. When everything is put into its place, it creates this cool picture of my bedroom in order, the way it should be. So everything in your room now has its own place? Yes, and my job now is to keep it like this and not get lazy. That's the reason my bedroom got messy to begin with. Now I'll put the remote next to the truck so I will know exactly where it is to put my clothes in the hamper at night instead of on the floor, to not save food under my bed because, well, that's just plain gross. You make cleaning your bedroom sound satisfying. Like putting the final piece into a puzzle. Exactly. That's how I felt when I found the remote. Well, can we take your remote control car outside for a spin? Sure. Maybe it's time for that yucky, dry-up piece of pizza to find a new home. Like, maybe the trash? <laughs> yes, that sounds like a good idea, Lila. Let's go. Wow, it was so nice of Sarah to help Jacob put his room in order, and I loved how Jacob had the opportunity to share everything that she taught him about order with Lila. Having a specific place for everything in your room is the key to keeping order. Learning to clean our bedrooms helps us to accept responsibility for our belongings. It teaches us valuable organization skills, and it makes us feel good about our accomplishments. Jacob showed us that our bedroom can become a healthier, safer place to be. How many times did you hear our VIW order during today's episode? Let us know. Just go to fetchthegoodness.com so we can hear all about it inside of our community. Be sure, too, to take a picture or a video and upload your incredible creations. We'd love to see them. Thank you so much for listening today. And always remember, Fetch the Goodness. Bye. Bye.